Ladies and gentlemen, I wanna to talk to you briefly today about screenwriting. And not so much the particulars like character arcs, scene building, protagonist versus antagonist, not any of the technical stuff. That's another conversation. I wanna talk about the approach to screenwriting before you get to the technical stuff. Things that you can do that can lead to writing a better script. So here are five tips on how to approach screenwriting. Tip number one, write about what you know. Now this is helpful, especially when you're just starting out. When you write about what you know, you are the subject matter expert. For example, if you have a story that revolves around the life of a school teacher and you yourself were an actual school teacher, or if you have a story that revolves around the life of a waiter and you, the real you, actually have experience waiting tables, then you know that world. You know the lingo, you know the language, you know how that world operates. You don't have to research what it's like to be a waiter. And because you know that world, you can now focus your attention on the story, creating and crafting the best story and characters that you can. And when people read your script, they'll think, oh, this person was a genius, so creative, it just felt so genuine. Not to take anything away from you, because you actually might be a genius, but really, you were just writing about what you know. Tip number two, read, read, read. Read articles, read books, read novels, read the newspaper. Reading will help spark inspiration, introduce you to new characters, new stories, new journeys, new adventures. Not to mention you may come across a good novel that you want to adapt into a screenplay, which I can't even begin to tell you how much that has happened. Tip number three. All right, now brace yourself for this one, but I'm telling you this from experience. Take an acting class. Yes, take an acting class. Now, just to clarify, when I say acting class, I mean scene study. I realize that this is highly unlikely that you will actually do this, but I'm telling you again from experience that being an actor for a number of years helped me tremendously when it came to writing my scripts. As an actor, I was able to discover what it's like to have character objectives and obstacles for that character, but even more so than just discover them, what it's like to actually go after them and to experience that back and forth with another human being sharing dialogue, how to actually fight and overcome those obstacles in the script. And if you can watch or experience that for yourself, then you can take that experience and begin to infuse that into your writing. Tip number four. When you sit down and write your script and you finish it three months later, six months later, nine months later, understand that that is your first draft. First draft, first. Put it away for some time, come back to it later, and read it. Reading your first draft will most likely make you wanna throw up, but that's okay, because it's not your final draft. Your final draft has been through the revisions, through the time that it takes to develop the script, right? It has coffee stains on it from all those late nights. It has dried up tears on it from all the agonizing time that you put trying to fix a certain scene. Do not print your first draft, send it to somebody, and then say, hey, Let's make this movie. I read somewhere that great writers are not great writers, they're great rewriters. And tip number five, commit to finishing. If you have gone through the preparation process, whatever that process is for you, whether it's outlining or sticking post-its on an idea board or sketching, whatever that process is for you and you are ready to write, my suggestion is commit to finishing. I think it's important to get these small wins and these small feelings of accomplishment. Now, as I stated before, this is just your first draft. But congratulations on at least getting that far. You've actually gotten much further than most, and you should be proud of that. So those are my five tips. If you want more, make sure you like and follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and subscribe to the YouTube page at Cross Culture Studios. That's all we have for today. Be blessed, stay inspired, and always shoot for the difference.